Good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a reaction to the USA falling to Slovakia as the Slovaks make a great comeback, and Team USA falters in the end. But obviously, it has nothing to do with Strassmann, who played an absolutely fantastic overall tournament and deserves to get more hype when it comes to coming over to eventually getting signed, maybe to start in the AHL and work his way up to the NHL, because he was fantastic for America. But let's get... um. Let's get right into it, as in this game, uh, individual game, Team USA, I already did a video on their overall tournament play, you can go check that out, it's in the men's Olympic hockey playlist up until this game, but in this individual game, uh, they performed uh, really just, it was a very even, honestly, game of where they then got outperformed, they were getting outshot in the second period, the Slovaks were honestly, play, in the first period, I should have said it was a pretty even game. Um, and then in the second period, I actually thought uh, Slovakia played the better period. Of course, in the first period, it ended up being 1-1 because Andrew Nisi was able to get that nice five-hole goal there that was assisted by Matty Beneers and Stephen Kompfer, who used to play in the AHL a lot and a little bit in the NHL. And then Jurov Slavkovsky again scores. He's playing phenomenal. He honestly, if I have to rank the best player that's been in this Olympics, it's him. Because if it wasn't for the impact he's made, Slovakia would not be in this position right now. And they wouldn't be a team that still has a chance to keep on going, has beaten America. And honestly, yes, I shouldn't be hyping them up this much because they did beat USA, which is my team. But they deserve it. They have a chance to definitely get a medal in this if they keep going at the trajectory they're going. They're playing good defense. They're having great goaltending by Rybor and others. And obviously, they have Yurov Slavkovsky, who's just one of the best guys uh, to have as a whole. And then you have, other than Rebar, you got Conrad and Nett. You got Kres uh, Kresnok, excuse me, of Hervink, who's their captain, who's played in the NHL, has good experience there. So they got the catch. I would have to give their tournament play. I'm going to do an overall video on Slovakia in a minute. But I would have to give their tournament play an A this far. They're playing absolutely out of their out of their skates. Um, but when it comes to Team USA uh, in this video... It was disappointing. They couldn't even get a goal for Strassmann in the shootout. They get the, he allows one to go in, but that was an absolutely brilliant move there. Uh, the, the, the from the, that was kind of like the uh, Dasukian uh, or Elias, whatever you want to call, it, come from one side shoot to the other move. Um, and it is what it is. Strassmann, I thought played an A level game. I thought Rybor played an A level game. This was basically just a fight to the death game. But USA, I thought, could have had. A much better closeout again. I thought they got beat in the second overall. They didn't end up getting the only goal in the second. So everyone's going, well, but Joe, they got the only goal in the second from San Henches, who had a very nice net front goal. I really like how the play was able to get down there from Burbix and Smith, and he was then able to just kind of make a nice move in front and score over Rybor. But overall, up to that point, they were getting outshot, they were getting out, man, they were getting out possessed, and they were getting out chanced. They just happened to get the goal in that period. I would have to give the second period as a whole play wise uh, to Slovakia. Then when we get to the third period, uh, USA, I think they got too defensive. They got too conservative. They, to me, they didn't push enough. Yes, you don't want to, obviously, because of stupidity being too aggressive, give up the game tying goal, but they were too conservative and too defensive in my opinion that's not them they have good attackers um in the veneers of the world of course uh they have good attackers um even in the Agostinos of the world the O'Neills the Miele who's the captains um obviously Andronisi who scored Matty Nyes uh they have Noah Cates they have uh Sean Farrell so they have good attackers I think they played way too conservative of a game in the third period they should have went a little bit more attack yeah, they defended okay up to the final minutes when the goaltender was pulled, but they still defended like I, I like the word to use was okay because they still allowed where uh, Strassman had to step up big. Uh, decent chances. Yes, they were keeping them to the outside in different fashions, but I would say in that third period, they still allowed three really solid chances at the least uh, to Slovakia, and then eventually when they pulled the goaltender, they tied at the end. Um, in overtime, I will say, I give that to USA. I thought they pushed a little bit more. It was solid back and forth pace, but I thought uh, USA pushed a little bit more than Slovakia, and Rybar um, really stepped up immensely huge in that overtime. He was the better of the goaltenders in the overtime. And in the shootout, they were just pretty much even, but Rybar was better. He gets it done in the end. Strassman, though, to me, he deserves, he's playing, I believe, over in Sweden right now, but he played great for Michigan, had them in the first row, was a freaking captain in the end. I don't know how he doesn't get enough recognition. He, 
from this tournament should definitely get more heads turning in his favor and maybe eventually get a chance after his uh, league ends in Sweden to maybe get signed, come over here, and work his way into being at least on an AHL club for next season because that dude deserves recognition. And then obviously Drew Camaso is already a top-notch good goaltender. I firmly believe he's going to be a guy that continues to develop in the Blackhawks organization as well. So I'm very confident with the goaltenders with USA. And then I love Pat Nagel, cover him with... Uh, the Reading Royals, and Lehigh Valley Phantoms for uh, one of the sites that I work for. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please stay safe out there. This has been a reaction to Team USA falling to Slovakia after blowing the lead in the end with the goaltender pool. Slovakia has a brilliant comeback. They're playing at an A level. USA, I think I gave them a B-plus level uh, before um, coming into this game. Now you have to bring them all the way down to, I would say, from this upset, a C to a C-plus level, because I'm not going to I'm not going to bring them all the way down to a D or a failure in the tournament because they didn't have the NHL guys. They have a lot of young guys. You saw how emotionally invested they were. There was so many of them were crying and stuff after the game, as you would expect, just because of how invested they are in the Olympics. It's not fair to give them a failing grade when overall uh, USA beat Canada in the prelims, who then eventually did lose to Sweden, so they're out as well. I'll be doing a video on that in a bit. They smoked the host country of China. Um, and they also beat Germany, who's a good team that I did a video on already, if you want to check that on the men's Olympic hockey playlist. So I'm not going to give them a failing grade. I would say it's a C because you got upset by Slovakia. The young kids in the knives of the world, the Burbicks of the world, uh, the Farrells of the world, etc., the Noah Cases of the world, the Kamesers of the world, the Strassmans of the world, they all played really well for Team USA. It's just Slovakia played better. Like I said, I thought they won the second period, and I thought Jurov Slavkovsky's literally been the best uh, player in this entire tournament thus far. It's a 17-year-old that's going, oh, don't mind me, I'm going to take over this tournament. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, and then when it comes to Hervix on uh, Slovakia, he's played, I would say he's their second dude that's really leading them immensely great. And then um, you also have Shalarik and uh, Takash uh, as well. So they got a good team. They're moving in the right direction. I'll be doing a video on them later. But this has been a reaction to Team USA falling to Slovakia in the shootout. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please do subscribe down below or up above on the easiest widget to keep the channel going to the end goal of 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everybody.